Now, Asha, have you ever done a five-minute interview before? Exactly five well, minutes. Well, we're going we're to definitely do it this time. <laughs> I'm going to um, ask you to count us down, please. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Once the battery's in. Okay. okay. Before we start, I should point out that we have a similar-ish top on, although yours looks. Yes, we do. I noticed this. This is good. <laughs> you, man, nice color. Yours looks are probably a lot more upmarket well, than mine. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, you know, I actually do my best with my fashion. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, put the battery in. Here we okay, go. Cool. Here, we go. Here we go. In five. five, four, three, two, one. Five minute conversation. How many Grammys have you won? Seven. How many US number ones have you had? Nine. If I said to you, you can only have one more Grammy or one more US number one, which would it be? Which would mean more to you? It would mean more to me to have um, a number one Grammy. A number one Grammy, how do you mean? Come on, <laughs> that is cheating. Well, well, you can have the best of both worlds because if you get a number one Grammy, that oh, means you hopefully got a number one album. Oh, I see, so both at the same time. Okay, now that is, okay, that's a very political answer. Um, okay. You're wasting my time, man, come on. <laughs> right, now I want to know, how did you get your name? Uh, my it, father named me. Well, is um, that, is that your a, original name, Usher? I'm actually Usher Raymond the fourth. My father's okay. name is the third. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me how you broke into singing. How did I break into singing? Yeah, when it was a first? robbery. I broke in, and you know what? No, I'm just, um, how did I break in? My big break uh, was in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, at a talent show. Um, I went on to be a part of a talent search, um, actually a TV show in, uh, in America, and I was recognized and signed by a label. Am I right that you sang in a church choir as a boy? You are correct. How did that sort of influence your singing? Uh, in every way. The soulfulness of my, of my, uh, of my you know, voice comes from the, the church. Did you feel from quite an early age that you were on the road to success? Absolutely. And, but at one point in time, it did become a little scary. But that was just kind of the shakes and reality of this industry we're in. Is there a pressure when you're making a new album to make it as popular as the last? Nah, yeah. I mean, you, you would hope that people would be receptive to it. And I mean, of course, this is business. But for me, it's more creative. And, Artistic interpretation is one's own perspective. You know? You're in the process of putting together a new album at the moment. Yeah. You haven't finalized the tracks yet. No. Okay. Some of the lyrics can be sexually suggestive. Yeah, dodgy. Would you say dodgy? Dodgy. Yes. So, <laughs> are you doing my accent? <laughs> so, I mean, do you feel the responsibility to your listeners, to your younger listeners especially? Um, I feel the responsibility to be as in the moment and honest as I can. You know, but at the same time, being mindful that you know there are there's a younger demographic of people who do listen to my music, and there's something for them. You know, and that's why I create an album that gives you a full range of experience, because uh, you know nowadays people pay attention to singles. You know, I'd like for them to buy an entire album, but some people will find a record that they like. That's cool, and that give them that opportunity to be a part of the experience. How do you feel your music, in a sentence or two, has developed during your career? Um, I feel like it's gone up. Up and up and up and up. Does, how does it work with the lyrics? Do you write all your lyrics or do you collaborate? How does it work? Well, now I collaborate more than anything. Uh, but there are times that I'm able to work with other people who will write for me. And are your experiences in some of your songs? Mm hmm Can it be hard to live your life or some of your life in the public eye? Yes. Is that a challenge? Yes. Tell me, in terms of your musical influences, do you have one singer that stands out that's had the biggest impact michael jackson and why explain a little bit vocally why that and is. entertaining you know because i'm an artist who dances and sings uh, not just an artist who um sings only tell me about the dancing i yeah. love dancing well dancing as well you know how important is that to the music to the whole it's more important to be able to dance and sing so the connection is really between the dancing and singing you know and when did you learn to dance how did you pick it up i always just kind of dance as a child Tell me a little bit about what it's like. I mean, we, we've talked about living your life in the public eye, but mm -hmm. being famous, being a huge name, mm -hmm. I mean, how do you deal with that attention? And, and, and do you get things sent to you by fans? Mm, how, do you, how do you deal well, with it? How do you deal with being such a huge name? I mean, has it, comes it changed with the territory. you? It comes with the territory. Do, do you feel that it's changed you? Uh, yes, for the better. Whereabouts in America do you live? I live in Atlanta. And I live in New York City. Can we talk a little bit about your acting? Yes. You're actually about to start preparing soon-ish? Yes, right. Mm -hmm. for, a, for a new role? Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that. Scheduled to shoot in June. Um, it's a, a role 
uh, about Roberto Duran's life. Uh, I act in the movie as Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, playing opposite um, uh, Guy Bernard, and um, and uh, also uh, Robert De Niro is in the film, who acts as his trainer, Ray Arcel. And have you had to train as an actor? Yes, I mean I do some training in preparation for this one. I did a lot of training. Uh, both physical and also acting. Back to music quickly. How do you prepare before you go onto the stage? Do you I get warm nervous? Up. No, I warm up and I get a little nervous, but I take some tea and try to calm myself. And that, Usher? Is a five minute. Is a five minute interview. There you and go. before we go, I would love, and we don't have time for it now, to do a dance off between you and I in our tops. But Man, I wish do we that, could. You? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I have other interviews to do and I can't sweat it out like I that. But I will, I'm sweating. I, but I will challenge you to a battle later. <laughs> so at some point, yeah. I might. Have a dance off with us. Me show. and you. Yeah? Okay. We'll make it a two minute battle. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. No doubt.